guys, I'm tackling about seeking attention. So it relates on narcissist. And I already told you that every one of us has a personality of narcissist. But it's our way to control it. So that's the part, the bad part of ourselves. So the good part of ourselves will control that one. So there's two kinds of seeking attention, the bad and the good. So I will tell it straightforward. Why can we say that we are narcissists? Because one word only can explain that. We judge by its cover, not knowing the real who you are, who she is, who that person is, who he, she, them, they are. We judge, we just judge by its cover. One word, judging by its cover, one, one, one. It's encouragement in the race, but it's the truth. So, that's the one word that can explain. So, I don't know why him came to my FYP again and all of the video came for to him. So, <laughs> they know what's the answer and maybe you can observe the faces and how they talk about narcissists on all of the videos that he uploaded. Of uh, Actually, he is not only the one who is... But you can see it in his own bio if who is the real person who post posted one. Posted those ones, but uh, he posted other people's videos. But you can really observe a, per a person's reaction through his words or her words. So we judge by its cover. That's how a narcissist, real narcissist is. Covered or not, but that's the real. Covered or medium narcissist or covered is the most narcissist. <laughs> Basta narcissist. We call it narcissist. So I can explain this. Let's watch first the videos. Borderline personality disorder. And these attention-seeking behaviors that they display will make us feel uncomfortable, annoyed, frustrated, irritated embarrassed, scared. An adult person with borderline personality disorder, their attention-seeking behaviors are extreme and or hysterical. Manipulative, exploitative, the uh, severeness that will ruin all relationships. And they may not even know it. Borderlines lack that self-awareness and, and a lot of people don't understand what that means or the extent of it. Here's an example. David I'm a borderline, I have BPD, and I never manipulate anyone like you say, as you, so you better stop saying that about all borderlines, that they're manipulative, or what? It's not an opinion, it's a fact. I'm just reading a fact. Examples of borderline attention-seeking behaviors. Too much time on social media. And that makes sense, if you have a very unstable sense of self, you don't know who you are, you're trying to figure it out, you make videos, comments specifically for lots of likes and comments and attention, I mean, God, think of all the people on YouTube, you know? I, I, I honestly like helping and giving information to people, watching people grow. It's something that could have saved my life many years ago. That's why I do this. I really, really don't like enjoy going, oh yeah, God, I can't you know, get in front of the camera and all this stuff. No, not really. They, and you know, it's for as many likes and comments as possible. Making comments online or in person that is calculated to make people uncomfortable or cross the social boundaries, yeah? To get a rise out of you. Virtue signaling, virtue, right? Let's post our donations. Let's make sure everybody knows I donated. And if it was a lot, then I tell the amount. Maybe symbols and flags by their names on their profiles. Attacking others. Attacking others is major attention seeking behavior. Very antisocial. And it's all to be the victim or the hero. Yeah? Smear campaigns, right? They'll tell you it's because this person's so bad. Okay, that's great. Yeah. What are you protecting us? Did they hurt you? Is this how you're dealing with it? Bragging, bragging, right? Bragging is attention seeking behavior. I'm taking your time to tell you how great I am. Well, let me give you all some insight on how these covert narcissists think. And if you're new to my channel, I'm a self-aware narcissist, but I'm not a covert narcissist. I'm definitely a grandiose overt one, at least for now. Have you ever had a narcissist pull this little tactic before? I'm just not worthy. It's not you, it's me. 
I'm just not good enough for you. It's, it's, it's totally not you, it's me. Like literally I can't do anything right. I'm doing you a favor by breaking up with you right now because all I'm gonna do is hurt you down the road. All I'm gonna do is destroy your life. It's such a snaky ass little way to say that I don't wanna be with you. I don't wanna actually be in your life right now. And you know what, it, again, it's not you, it's me. I'm just not good enough for you. All I'm gonna do is hurt you. Uh, you're literally gonna end up hating me someday. And I just don't wanna see you go through that. Let me explain to you something about covert narcissists. They absolutely believe they are just as grandiose, just as entitled, just as worthy of admiration, praise, and attention as any grandiose overt narcissists that you guys will ever meet. And that is real talk. But little covert narcissist bitches, they, they actually just, they think that they're so manipulative that you're going to fall for it and that you're going to take them back and you're going to feel sorry for them. They're always looking for sympathy. They're always looking for empathy. They're always looking for empathy that you can give to them, but they'll never give it back to you. And usually they'll do this when they've already got some new supply lined up and somebody else who can feel sorry for them. I can tell you something right now, as a self-aware narcissist, you will never meet a bigger victim than a covert narcissist. They are the biggest victim in the room, guys. They have suffered more than anyone else. They have been through more agony and had more troubles in their life than you could even possibly imagine. And that is the mindset of a covert narcissist. But listen, it's all manipulation. It's all mind games. And a covert narcissist is very good at playing them. I will say this, an overt narcissist is very easy to spot. It's pretty easy to see when you run into an overt narcissist, a grandiose narcissist. But the little bastards that are the most dangerous, the little ones that'll get their fangs in you more than anyone else is a covert narcissist. So don't fall for that shit either. If, when they tell you that they are not good enough for you, they actually are good enough for you. But if you think for a second that they don't believe they're good enough for you, they actually believe they're better than you guys. Every covert narcissist I've ever met or run into or heard about always thought they were better than the person they were discarding. Real talk. Did you watch them? So why do I have a feeling that they are... <laughs> no, not really. Sorry. Very sorry, you guys. But I feel that you are explaining what you are sorry but really that's how i feel but for me i can't really explain what is a narcissist the i can explain it on my experiences to those people and of course we have as i say we have all of that we have each of one of us has a personality of narcissist so some or hint we can explain it but some it's through our experiences. The meaning is good, right? It's all in a good seeking attention, attention and bad seeking attention. But how can you tell if, excuse me, a confirmation? <laughs> they always say it's that one, if they do that one. If I'm watching some videos <laughs> on tarot or psychic. So that's it. How can you tell if? That person or you are a narcissist. On how you understand what they are saying. It depends if it's good on your understanding or bad in your understanding. If you are irritated, maybe you are medium narcissist. But when you reacted, a uh, strong reaction, I can say. I can't uh, find the word. You are very narcissist. Well, as I say, I learned to control my irritation so I just understand it as it is and uh, I don't care but uh, I, I don't mean that I don't care but I understand what they are saying as it is but no irritation at all because the healing is really good do it the anger part it really is but if you actually encountered those who complains oh that's the part that they always say they complains something. Well, it triggers actually. <laughs> Sorry, the thumb. It triggers actually. You can your voice make it a uh, higher actually when you, when you answer them. And if the you if they are not hearing you, that anger <laughs> will come out actually. Maybe the toxic ones that we can see. Narcissists are yeah toxic. If you hear what they are saying, some video, it's me, it's not you. It's good, right? The meaning is good. But if you are irritated or you reacted on that, hmm. <laughs> know it. <laughs> but in, if it's in love, we're related in love, in love, of course, if you really love that boy and he says that one, then you will react because you really give that love to him. And that's not narcissist. It's normal because you give it the love. But he didn't consider it. So if 
the girl says that it will be also the guy will feel the pain on love it's like a wife and a man separated hmm. like how can i relate to a relationship with god ah, okay that's how hurt god is also he is of course sometimes he is angry but controlling it because he really loves us the love is the one who controls the anger the peace and freedom controls the anger but if all the sins combine together that's it <laughs> so seeking attention it's not never bad because you can see a child who is always asking come here come here let's play or look at this look at this it's not bad you have to give the attention to the child and explain what he or she is asking you or just compl give compliment to the work that he or she did so that when he grows she can she or can she or he can apply it also to his or her child seeking attention is not bad it would be bad if you use it in a bad way but why if a teacher for 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 teach us then she wa she shouted us she seeks she seeks an attention right to make us stop and look at her while having an lecture right and if a mother or father shouted at us you know why because you are hard-headed or lazy if a wife shouted at you he she is seeking attention of what you did wrong but if it's not how oh, that's what we call toxic part seeking attention uh, there are some wife and men who seeks attention with the no purpose hey someone will i know someone will relate on that so i give you a sample of seeking attention in a good way let's watch this video god knows when to send you exactly what you need being private staying low-key and not telling everyone everything is self-care seek respect not attention it lasts longer there will always be someone who doesn't see your worth don't let it be you time always exposes what you truly mean to someone be careful who you trust salt and sugar look the same no regrets just do better next time remember some things have to end for better things to begin life will separate you from your friends so appreciate each moment you have together so, did you watch the video the it relates right it's a good message so seeking attention is not bad but if you want to correct that narcissist personality you have to be patient and understand them if you are like that you at least understand yourself seek by yourself uh confess to god and accept all of course there's a guilt also and worries like that burden and sorrows all all sins has that and use your universe this one this one this one to connect with god and seek his attention ah, that's a good attention and i will give you this verse healing for a bad seeking attention so as i always say i understand some part of that i am only giving an example that the things that i always say you talk but on your action it's different it doesn't uh, reconnect so sometimes we have to be careful that's it and uh, righteous yeah sometimes seeking attention is right but there's a bad right so example for a mother and a child the reaction of the mother is very good calm and 
loving mother, but come here. I am going to tell you something. Then the child come here and sit with and sit with her. Then this comes. What did I tell you? The reaction is still good. One one one, and she is pinching it. Well, that's a kind of narcissist mother, right? But my mom never d did that. I watched a movie like that. They are very calm and and na nothing reaction that you will sow on her. Then, but <laughs> the action hmm. and a child tantrum. We can say a little, but we can correct that one because they, they are still child. There some offers uh, correction facilities, but we parents can also little by little can advise and give the love that they wanted. But that's normal for a child. But if it's already adult, oh, they really need a uh, help. There are some who freaks and do whatever they want. <laughs> they will, if they are angry, they will break everything. So, how about those who we we call seeking attention in making their self like a victim? Yeah, there are people like that. As they say, the first three videos, three or two, yeah, the first videos, uh, acting victim. So, that that's not called narcissist maybe I know there's a kind of uh, in psychology there's a kind of a uh, personality disorder and that so among the thoughts there is a man like unto the, to the work oh, I will put this one time for free paying so I will search for this one because it's very this is not an IV this is a uh, the old version of Bible. So this is the one who popped out in my account. Actually, it's the first time. I'm waiting for it. The two videos that I've already posted, I never seen the <laughs> it pop out. It pop out. Actually, it should be two times or three times a day. So wow. <laughs> he gave this one and the explanation is good. So God is only the one. So as I say, that is not a part of narcissist. The seeking telling theirself a victim oh i see sorry those who call self uh, also a victim is also a uh, narcissist personality disorder so sorry i only know the ones who freaks and uh, destroy everything that's the other part of the narcissist but in reverse those who place a victim to their self so well i encountered one yeah, and uh, she will always uh, complains of this and this and this and this and uh, make herself down. So, yeah, we have all that one. The victim and the hyper. So, it's a part to control of that. But when you are, sorry if you are actually eaten by that one, you can't. Maybe there's a still one 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 time, but it can be corrected. There's always a help, the psychologists and others that offers the correction facilities. Ah, that's it. And we have to heal to remove that victimizing ourselves and the overreacted anger. That's too much. Actually, that's too much humble because I know too much humble is actually a sin also. A humble is enough, but too much humble is not. But actually, too much humble sometimes the persons are the ones who knows that they cannot do. I Actually, I told that to God. To do to once on my awakening time in the middle maybe when I'm at home I I have a conversation with him that actually God why would be 
uh, too much hampel as sin because they are the ones who really consider others. They don't want to touch others to make bad things to others. But actually, if you realize, because of that too much humbleness, they cannot tell their feelings. Well, well I said I cannot tell my feelings. But I still can. But not, not like today that I can tell easily, straightforward. But on my past is I, I cannot tell. I have to think a word to tell them. And pautal-utal ako kung makikipagbangayan ako. I mean in English. It's like in my English. It's not good, right? Even that's how I have a conversation to a person. If I want to tell my side part and my heart will do like this. Really? So my language is <laughs> not good. It's not straight. It's like my English. <laughs> but the, uh, I'm not, the, the reason that I cannot uh, speak straight forward on uh, English is, of course, I'm still starting to do it. I'm more on my language and the uh, Tagalog. So I hope I can correct this one. For, for, for. So little by little, I can remember some words. But actually, when I'm already awakened on my healing, it's like you are born again. You forget some words, but when you read it again, you can remember it. Even the, the past, sometimes you will forget and remember again. Even the personalities, even the... Oh... As you experience again your beginning, yeah, you will remember it again. But the pins are already gone. And traumas. And always only remembering it. So that's a proof that it's not only baptism, baptism who removes the sins, but so but also spiritual healing. Because we are not all Christians, right? You have different religions. So that's it. That's it. Seeking attention and too much on too much humbleness? Yeah, sometimes it's a sin because we make ourselves down and we cannot fight for ourselves. I experience those. It's a different for telling a story that you are a victim for this than acting like a victim. Hear the word? Acting like a victim saying that you are a victim of that situation there's a big difference right and can you tell a teacher she is a narcissist if or a leader or a boss if she's or he is angry of something <laughs> no right so every one of us has a personality of narcissist but we can correct it so that's it so you can tell also, please comment about seeking attention so that we can learn all of it. And uh, I have a video about narcissists. Please comment there so that we can all learn. Please through your experiences, not through your what you read or what you heard a story about a narcissist. Maybe you can tell also because sometimes the ones they explain in book or website sometimes they don't really fully explain what is narcissist you can only explain if you experience it we are all really victims of something that's why we became narcissist they became narcissist all are a victim of a victim thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe click the notification comment if you want to share see you again in my next videos